Hi everybody, so here I am on the basic home screen for Adobe InDesign. So when you first go ahead and you launch Adobe InDesign, you're going to get this look to it, okay? Um, I usually don't care so much. I mean, you could go ahead and start with the letter option here um, if I want to click on that. But one of the things is sometimes you might actually switch your view and if you see it in a list like this, it's just click on the icon. I tend to prefer the icons. Okay, so I tend to start new and I'll click the create new button and then I'm going to get the new documents panel that pops up. I would go ahead and I want to go ahead and create it to inches. Um, sometimes you'll see when you click on the little drop down for units, you're going to see points, picas. Um, I've worked before in the past with points and picas. They're usually uh, more to deal with printing and creating um, a more precise a measurement. That's the way I look at it. And so next thing, after I've got it set to inches, just because that's a little bit easier for me, I want to think about um, the orientation of my actual pages. So this icon shows this is vertical or I could do a horizontal orientation. I'm going to do a vertical one. I mean just play around with something different. Um, pages number one. Okay so when you see facing pages check mark here. So like when you think of a book or a magazine facing pages literally means that the two pages are side by side. Like they would if you close those pages together they would face each other. I do not want facing pages. Um, for me on this when I'm doing a portfolio I mean you could do facing pages if you want but um, I want to see pages separate from each other so they're not going to be side by side so I'm going to uncheck this if you want to have an initial um, text frame started you can have that checked and it will have that on there for you I'm just going to go without okay so columns so when they're talking about columns it's basically when you think about books and magazines, okay, books usually might have a single column if you're thinking about a novel. Um, if you're thinking about a textbook, they might have two columns, okay, or if you're thinking about a magazine, that might built, be built with three columns of text, okay. So I'll post some like images up at the top so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. These are basically like just a column of text and how it breaks it. I just want one. Okay, margins. This is going to be my live area. So I usually do a half inch all the way around. But that's by default what it's set to. Okay, so bleed. If you are going to have images that extend beyond the actual 8.5 by 11 size page, then I would want to add 0.125. And if I just click on the other one, it's automatically going to set it. So this is Basically, wherever images go off the edge, this will be allowing for when it is cut, you can go ahead and have excess of the image going beyond um, the edge of the paper. So it's not right up against the edge. You never really want to have an image. You never want an image to go right just to edge and stop. You want it to extend beyond the edge. So when the paper is cut, so like if you're like trimming these at home or whatever, or if you're sending it off to somebody who you want it to be printed with, you always want to have bleed if anything extends off the edge. I'm not concerned about my slug area. Um, I could click preview just to, you know, see it. So here when you click preview, see how it pops up and then I have, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to uncheck that and I'm going to hit create. Okay, so this is untitled. So now I want to go to file. I want to go to save as. When I click save as, um, I'm on a Mac. and you know, Mac PC, like Adobe InDesign, um, and uh, the Mac and PC version, the only difference is really is the keyboard shortcuts. Like if you're on a Mac, you're going to hit the command plus whatever letter. If you are on a PC, you're going to hit the control key. All right, so I am going to go ahead and make a new folder. I'm just going to call it my test InDesign, and I hit the create button. Okay, so I want to give my InDesign file, I'm going to go test portfolio. And I always like to now put the date in the year because it helps me remember like when I made these things and also it makes it a lot easier to search. See how the folder is highlighted with gray? So it's going to save it in that folder. You also see it appear in the top. I want it to be Adobe InDesign document. Um, I could make it a template, but I'm going to go for a document. Basically the difference if it's a template, you can't save over the original file. So that's the only difference. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit, I'm going to leave this on by default and hit the save. So as you can see right here in the corner, I have now saved my document. 
and it is set up for a letter size which is eight and a half by eleven size um, inches and I will in the next video show you how you can format this and start actually you know customizing it to be your own portfolio for illustration all right stay tuned please um, subscribe and hit the uh, like button thanks